Hi, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to answer this exam question. Um, for this question, you'll need the information in the first part of the question here. That's why I've pasted that in there. So, it says, complete table 1 to show how the word BE would be encoded in the binary form of ASCII. So, this is what it's talking about here, where it says the character A is... 1100001 and what we've got to then do is work out what the character B is and what the character E is hence in code BE ASCII so what I'm going to do then is write down what A is so A equals 1100001 and B is just the next letter on from A. So what we do then to convert this to B is we add 1 to it. So B equals... Now to add 1 to this we've already got 1 in the uh, in the 1 column so we're going to uh, subtract 1 and add 2. So I'm going to write 1100010 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. okay and we're going to fill in the table so one one zero 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 one zero. So for E then what we do is because it's the fifth letter along, add four to this number. So one one zero zero one zero one. And then we've got a binary representation of E. So one one zero zero 101. Okay, so that's part 3.2. Okay, so for the last part of the question then, what we've got to do is uh, it's saying a program has been developed to convert a string so that all of its characters are in uppercase. The computer does this by taking each character's ASCII binary code and applying a bitwise AND operation to it using the mask 10111111. Convert the lowercase character C, ASCII code 1100011, to the uppercase character, capital C, using the method described above. So what this means is we've got to, to get the capital C, we've got to use an AND operation on these two numbers here. And what I've got over here is a truth table for an AND gate. And it will show us if we if our inputs are zero and zero, we get zero, and the same for every input apart from one and one, which is one. And if you've watched my videos on logic gates, you'll uh, have seen that before. So if we start off then on the left hand side, one and one will give us one. One and one will again give us one. One and zero, all of these will give us zero. So zero, zero, zero. One and zero again gives us zero. Uh, one one gives us one. So, and that's your answer. So, capital C is represented by one zero 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 one one. Okay. Thanks for watching. 